There was a time when I was so hurt by people in my life that I shut down emotionally. We, as a family, were leaving a very devastating place in our lives where we had been hurt by others, and I didn't want to risk myself with anybody else ever again. So we drove to this little tiny place on a ranch somewhere, and we were going to live in a barn. It was one week before Christmas, and we had nothing but our suitcases and heartache. We drove up, and there were lights hanging from this barn. And we opened the door, and our friends were there. And there was a Christmas tree there with presents under it. There were fresh cookies that had just been baked. And that's when the Lord really taught me something important about pain. That when you go through relational pain, the thing that God does to heal that pain is to use community. So the very community that breaks you is the avenue by which God heals you. But the problem is when we're hurt, we erect this great bitter wall. And we think that if we protect our heart at any cost, then we will be safe and we will not have any more pain for the rest of our lives. When we erect that wall, we cut ourselves off from joy. I believe that the enemy of our souls wants nothing more than to have a wall that's erected all the way up. Because if we're in that place, the world will not change. The kingdom of God will not advance. Jesus said, I came to give you life and to give it to you abundantly to the full. I really prayed about the vehicle and the avenue I would use to convey this truth. And the Lord reminded me during that time of prayer that I should walk through the Lord's Prayer with anyone that's been hurt. So I walked through the structure of the Lord's Prayer as a healing journey. What does it mean that we have a Father in Heaven? What does it mean to have God's kingdom here on this earth in our relationships, even our painful ones? People walk into a Christian bookstore because they're hurting. They want to find a solution to their problem. They may not know that they have a wall around their heart, but their relationships are not the way that they want them to be. My heart in writing this book is that there would be an army of people who love Jesus who are willing to really do the fun, difficult, hard work of taking that wall down so the whole world will be changed. I'm Mary Demuth, and I've written a book called The Wall Around Your Heart.